Ecan fam, what's good y'all? I'm Marshall Fox and in this video we're covering isolated video and isolated audio recording inside of Ecan Live. All right, let's go. All right y'all, before we begin, just keep in mind this feature is for the Pro license only and it's only available for Apple Silicon users. So if you're on M1 or M2, you're good to go. So if you're not, this is a good excuse to upgrade your computer. So go ahead and let your family know, let your boss know that you need an Apple Silicon Mac to continue doing your job, all right? They've been out for a couple years now, all right? It's time. <laughs> so typically you will have your main recording of your show, right? For example, if I'm on a podcast, a show or interview, for example, like this, the final recording file will show all the scenes that are created and switched between, right? But with isolated video recording, let me go ahead and just replace Keely really quickly just to illustrate the point. So I'm gonna go to custom for the size and put myself right here. Check this out. So let's say this was my main screen. If I go to Ecamm Live, preferences, and then go over to recording, I can record all broadcasts. So I'll go ahead and check the cam link for camera A, my iPhone for camera B. And if I had any interview guests, I can record all of their video as well. And let's record the isolated audio tracks. And you can select whether you want the primary mic, a secondary mic, or the program audio with all the effects for each camera. So you have versatility when it comes to the audio. So check this out, y'all. So if I hit record, right? So I'll go ahead and do my thing. Let's say I had multiple cameras. If I hit finish, hit show file, boom. So now I'll have a folder. So typically it's actual video. So it'll look like Ecamm Live Recordings. But I now have a folder with my main recording here. And then I have my individual cameras as well as the audio from the main mic. I was only using one audio input device, so that's why I only have one audio input here, but I still have the audio in the cameras as well. So you may have noticed that the camera effects aren't applied to this clip, right? So this looks a little more washed out. So this is the recording from that isolated video track, but this is my actual video feed, right? In the main recording. So all you need to do is go to Ecamm Live, Preferences, and make sure apply camera effects to recorded video sources is selected if you want the camera effects baked in like this, okay? If you don't, then just leave it unchecked and you can do that in post. But I really love this because it gives you a nice clean video source or audio source sources so you can repurpose them for podcasts, reels, and just other social media content. And just keep in mind, it maxes out at 1080p. So if you have a 4K video file, your main recording can be in 4K, but those individual video files will max out at 1080p. If you have a 720p camera, it won't upscale it to 1080p, but it will max out at 1080p, all right? So just keep that in mind. So this is extremely helpful for interviews and podcasts where you have two or more people on the screen. Let's say you have like five or six people on a stream, right? You're able to have that main recording with everyone and you can also have the individual clips for everybody. Let's say you wanted to provide them their own clips so they can repurpose it for themselves you can do that with that main isolated video recording. Really, the possibilities are endless with these isolated video clips. So that's ISO or isolated video and audio recording using Ecamm Live. If you found this video helpful, let us know. Hit us with a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen our full Ecamm Live 4.0 tutorial playlist, check that out now. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.